I've been in Dallas for a long, long time. <laughs> played with us at uh, Dallas Museum of Art, he drum. He, he sat in with us, played guitar, and did a song, and, uh, and we just really hit it off, man. I just love the way he sang, and just got to be good friends. I met so, Ronnie, yeah. I was, I think in junior high school, maybe 14, and he was playing with a bunch of wild and crazy guys, pretty much rock and roll, and uh, at a club called the It'll Do. Maybe over off the northwest highway. Somebody hanging out there. 
always that door was always knocking. All sorts of jazz musicians and rock musicians and everybody started coming over to Ronnie's apartment and hanging out all the time because it was a place to go play, jam, hang out, and just just listen to music. We weren't just hanging. We were always doing something. We were always playing. Or trying to write some songs. Figuring out, what, like figuring out what was wrong with the world. Yeah. And we did other things in between. Yeah. We didn't let it interfere with our fun. So that's where you get all of this recording, pre-record stuff for CDs. It was a meeting spot. It was a central location because Ronnie had the whole. He had he had the, the musical abilities and the, the philosophical ideas that everyone knew that he knew what he was talking about. So it all kind of came together there. No matter what they call. Got off stage playing with Ronnie Dawson. Had a great time. I've only played with him a couple of times before, and it was awesome.
hit record on this next one. We just knew we'd have a hit record. We said if we do a song called it Beer, it'll sell. With where people grow up, and him growing up in Waxahachie, played in Texas his whole life, it, it's magical. And, and, and to be on stage next to him, it's, it's a complete honor, man. It's just, I'm still uh, got the chill bumps out. This is a song that uh, oh, a few years ago we had a band called Steel Rail. We, we think that it was one of the first bands that country and rock and roll together the way it ought to be done. And so this is a song that Bobby wrote for me. And it's called Walks the Hatchie, Knee Deep in the Blues. You know?